Hello everyone, this is Prem Kumar. I am representing Minotech. We all know that Pega introduced the Gen AI blueprint a month before. Many might have already experienced it and seen a lot of LinkedIn posts explaining about how blueprint works and how blueprint helps. In this video, I am going to share my view on blueprint and as usual, we will also try to decode and understand how Pega uses this blueprint at the back end. So first, why this blueprint? Again, few months back, Pega introduced this Gen AI, right? I also created a video on Gen AI. With Gen AI, what we can actually do is we can create cases using the Gen AI model. So we'll be sending some text to prompts and then Gen AI responds with corresponding stage configuration, step configuration. And with that, we can speed up our case design, right? And if you look at technically, case design we normally do when we create an application so we create an application first and then we can do the case design and on the business side case design we can do it with the citizen developers or the business people can also collaborate but talk about in a real time let's say a financial service institution they want to use pega to automate their business process and how do they get started maybe they will involve all the stakeholders the domain architects the enterprise architects, and all the different business peoples they will collaborate they may have different meetings they may have a lot of sticky notes to define their business process right that will be more like an ideation phase or like a designing phase and then once that is done then we get into pega and then we do some prototype we create some cases so normally this is the process that happens for all the organizations and with blueprint what pega adds here is you can involve blueprint during the designing phase during the ideation phase instead of writing and drawing it into white paper you can straight away use the blueprint you can define different business process you can also get some ideas from the gen ai so this can definitely reduce your time why i meant reducing the time is if you use the blueprint you are already getting started with the pegas application creation because at the back end pega can create applications using it pega can create case type using it so that the citizen developers or the system architects can easily jump in and then they can take it from there so these are all about what blueprint can do let me quickly walk you through the blueprint if you just go to pega.com slash blueprint there you will get the place from where you can get started with the blueprint i'll just get started from here it shows my dashboard and make sure you also log in and now i can just create a blueprint from here if you look at this bit carefully this is exactly the pegas application creation visual right if you look at the Pegas context, Pegas layer, it always expects organization, division and unit. And if you look at these fields, it, it is also going to ask you the same set of field. For example, let's say the industry as, maybe I will take the insurance and then industry sub segment, I'm going to say individual life. And then it also asks department. Then I can say climbs. Okay, so here you have the three layer defined. Then I say language, application purpose. Again, it gives you some drop down. So you can just choose one. I'm going to use this. And now click next. So you defined your application scope in the previous step. And in this step, you get all the relevant case types that can be created. You get like four types of cases, climb setup, climb settlement and payment. So different case types Pega recommended and, and this comes from the Gen AI output. So at the back end, Pega did some prompt and then it tries to get all the different cases. And then if you go next, within cases, this is like a standard thing, what we already know, right? Many of you already might have experienced this Gen AI per case. So we all know that Pega can nicely prompt, get the stages and then map it to have a display of the case designer. So that is what you are seeing here. So on a high level, Pega blueprint is more like a wrapper over the case Gen AI, which we saw before. And from here, if you go, then you can also get to the data. So here you can define the data types and then let's go to next. And from here, you can define the personas for your case. So basically, you are already starting up with designing your application and at the end you can just download the blueprint okay now it's time to decode how pega implemented this blueprint a little bit more on a technical side i hope it can be interesting now let me go to the blueprint dashboard first let's open the developer tool and then i'm going to the networks tab and then start creating a blueprint you can see it makes some api calls first thing is it gives you d underscore app list selectors Okay, there is a drop down industry. So this is getting populated from here. You can see it is a Pega API and they are using some service package DCO AI. And if you look carefully, these are all DX version 2 APIs. And if you look at the response, you will see a nice JSON response. 
for example it starts with banking right you see it starts with banking and then you can see the structure under banking you also have asset management and then inside that you have lending this is more like my previous project so i'm going to use the same thing so i'm going to use banking and then asset management and then lending so now you see what pega is going to do is it's going to map this with organization division and unit and then this is for language and i'm going to say application purpose loan servicing of course the exact same project and now if i click next so this is my final data now if i do a next again it's going to take some api calls here now if you go to this cases what it actually does is it makes a post call to the api cases api basically it just creates a new case as you can see this blueprint case id 21273 maybe 21000 times already people have tried so i'm the number which is representing 21273 so these cases were created and you can also see the next page id the harness and things so for sure this is implemented using pega application so so pega is running some server and this is kind of mashed up or web embed and definitely this is web embed because the other thing is if you go to the react developer tools you can easily find they are using lot of react components and these are all part of the constellation design system so pega created a constellation application they are hosting into some server they did a web embed here and that is where all these dx api calls are getting made to give you the list so pega also has a case type called blueprint and there they may have different stages there they will make some gen ai api call to get the results back so that is how basically it is working as i told already you can also find all my details organization division and unit and then the py label so it's going to create an application of loan servicing here the description of the application now if you go to the next one a lot of api calls are made as you can see the response from here you can see px update create daytime and then even system id you can see they have it something called blueprint hyphen prod one actually this is a very good design from pega why i meant here is they are already involving pega so all those design patterns will be pega ready already to me this is more like a pdm orchestration where it helps for deployment orchestrating right similarly they have a blueprint server which orchestrates these blueprint actions and at the end maybe this needs to be installed into different customers environment and from there we can easily create our case so blueprint will be more like a parent case and then we have all these child cases created that will be mapped to our application cases also kudos to the developers or the lead system architects who designed this application specifically this constellation application they defined all those case type and it is nicely web embedded into the pegas official website and by april we are going to get 24 so i believe new application creation is going to change it can use this blueprint model of creating new application so at the time of application creation wizard maybe we will also get this gen ai capability to create the cases and define everything in a more low code way in a more collaborative way with the business looking forward to exploring pega 24 see you in the next video